grief avoidant society, educators have the opportunity and the responsibility to support our grieving students. Grief is universal, yet a unique experience for each griever. We are not here today to fix grief, to solve grief, or to move past it. We are here to connect, to express, and to learn how to readjust to life after loss. We are here to remember and to honor. It is my hope that you leave today empowered and encouraged. instructor at Kapai Lincoln Community College. I've taught there for 34 years. Clay is very therapeutic. There's something about when you put your hands in the clay that you can just kind of forget about everything else. And um, I, I know I can just kind of lose myself in the clay. And so I just want the, the uh, participants today to just kind of lose themselves in the clay a little bit today and just feel of it. And uh, kind of, they're gonna do their own creations today. I'm gonna guide them a little bit to give them a, a little bit of instructions, but for the most part, they're gonna be able to, to kind of create and mold and push the clay around. My name is Heather McKenzie. I am leading a yoga and movement session. I discovered yoga um, at a time in my life that was a very difficult time, and um, I know that everybody deals with difficult things differently, and, and yoga was my thing, and so I'm just hoping and praying that these kids can also relate and be able to use yoga in their lives too. My name is Clinicia Sibley and I'm the Literary Arts Instructor at Mississippi School of the Arts. I was invited to facilitate a creative writing workshop. One of the things that we are focusing on is this idea that uh, grief doesn't end, it just changes shape over time. And so the students are beginning with uh, this activity where they create, uh, using wax sticks, um, a shape uh, that represents the shape of Greek in their life currently. And then they take um, the themes and ideas from this shape and put it into a, a creative writing piece. My name is Derek Covington Smith and I'm the owner of the Little Yellow Building in Brookhaven, Mississippi. One of the, the big things that the mural was built around was um, the marks left behind by those who pass in and out of our lives. And I really hope that we had the opportunity to reflect on the marks that we, that we leave behind in other people's lives. Uh, I invited the, the students and the participants to come and to make marks and to touch and to leave impressions upon this mural uh, because it's going to be our mark forever. Every grieving student has the right to be heard with dignity and respect, to feel all the feelings and to think all the thoughts of their own unique grief. Students spoke about the positive ways to grieve and different ways to remember and honor their loved ones. seem like it but it really helps to, to talk about it. I went through my own like grief uh, kind of journey or transformation back when it happened so I'm more open to talk about those uh, sorts of like my experience to like you know help other people and even like learn something from them to uh, help because you know grieving never really ends. At, this would be a good time for me to just come and finally accept this experience and the grief that I'm going through. It really does help being around people that are going through the same thing that you're going through. Like everyone has different experiences and stuff with grief, but it's good to be in an atmosphere that you feel welcome in to go through these things together. It taught me what different forms of grief were, um, taught me different ways to deal with it. Um, it gave me 
healthier coping mechanisms because not every way of coping was necessarily healthy. Um, and, and it basically opened me to accept my grief instead of pushing it down, to accept it and to live in it and to move through it. It made me realize how other people were going through stuff too and I didn't realize that. And it honestly helped me feel so much better about myself and made me want to help other people. To the staff who made this grief retreat possible, you have impacted lives and we are forever grateful. To the students, thank you for trusting us with your grief and with your loss. It was an incredible privilege to share the day with you.